All right, this is the first part in a series of classes where we're going to look at different aspects of the core. Today we're going to look at the anterior, the front side of the core, and we'll get to the back, the sides, and some twisting as we go. Um, for this practice, I would say just grab a pair of socks if you have it, if you're on some hard wood. If you are on carpet, you can grab a paper plate works nice, or if you have a pair of um, sliders. To work as well too. But let's get going here. So you set the socks aside and this is come in to a shavasana. This line our backs. You can close the eyes. You don't stay here too long. We just want a little chance to tune in. As you close the eyes, just become aware of the breath. The sensation as you draw it in through the nose. And the sensation as you let it go back out through the nose. On each inhale, just try to feel just the width of the ribs. Feel the intercostal muscles expand. Feel the rib cage expand. And on the exhale, just feel it sink back down. Again, take an inhale, ribs expand, lungs expand. And exhale, they just fall back down. Inhale through the nose. And back out to the nose. As we're lying here, take notice of your ribs, the top part of your ribs. They feel like they're flaring out. They feel like they're sticking up a little bit. Think about dropping the ribs back in a little bit. Not, not a lot. You don't do a lot of exertion here. But instead of the, you know, the front ribs lifting, think about dropping them back in. Take an inhale. And exhale. As you draw the ribs in, maybe think about squeezing the glutes a little bit. You want to feel the pelvis just rotating backwards. So we keep breathing here. We begin to feel at the bottom of the ribs. This might come a little bit closer to the top rib of the pelvis. That's what we're looking for here. We're going to get our anterior core working in this practice today, but. Good, inhale the front ribs. And on the exhale, knit the ribs in. Squeeze the glutes, good. One more like that, we relax, the ribs expand. And on the exhale, the ribs come in a little bit, the glutes squeeze. Just feel the ribs and the pelvis. It's coming a little closer together. Good, all right. On the knees here, let's bring them up towards the chest. And just give yourself a nice little squeeze, but lift the shoulder blades up off the mat. That's the shoulder blades up off the mat. That sensation that we were looking at when we were in Shavasana, think about the top rim of the pelvis. A little closer to the bottom rim. All right. Now, something a little bit similar here. Think about this time. We want to bring the knees, bend the knees like right where they're by the chest, toes together. Try to get the heels as close to the butt as you can. Now here, take an inhale, reach forward. Now this is, we're doing crow, costal on our backs. Good. Now think same thing, ribs in. Think about round and give it, bringing the bottom of the ribs closer to the pelvis. Really, shoulder blades come up a little bit more. And lower back down, good. Come back up, feet together. Heels by the glutes, we inhale, lift up. Now we're gonna stay here a little bit longer. Think about rounding. Good, squeeze the knees into the elbows. Press the elbows into the knees. And lower back down. All right. 
heels the glutes, toes together, inhale, come out loud. This time, arms are straight, but reach out towards the right side. So this is side crow. Good. Take an inhale, and then go to crow. And left side. Good. Take an inhale, and crow. We got one more round here. Right side. Center, lift up, left side, center, and back down. Extend the arms overhead, you can get the legs long, just real quick, stretch it out. Now this being a core class, we're not just going to go one set of that, let's go back up and do it again. So, toes together, heels by the hips, and again. Knit the ribs in. Think about as we knit the ribs in, we're bringing this distance. So we're really rounding as we reach forward. Right side, lift up. Make sure you get that right shoulder blade up off the mat. Good. Center. Left side and left shoulder blade. Really get it up. Center. Right. Center, we stay up, bellies in, left, good, press the knee into the arm as we lift up, center, lift up, and back, down, legs long, arms over the head. Inhale, and exhale. Now here, bend the knees. Cross the ankles, feet into here, and just rock back and forth. And we just eventually want to make our way into a table top position. So as we sit in our tabletop, shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees. And so we're balanced here on our four base, four stable base. Good. We'll take an inhale breath, and then just let the shoulder blades sink down. Now here on your inhale, press the mat away. Shoulder blades press away from the earth. Good. One more time. And then exhale. Just sink the shoulders, keeping the arms straight. And then inhale. Arms stay straight. Press the mat away. Good. Now hold that. So you press the mat away. Tuck the ribs in. Now so the ribs are tucked in. Extend the right leg towards the back of the room. Now, don't let the back flare think about it. really knitting these ribs in. Maybe if the leg goes a little bit lower, that's fine. But really think about using that anterior core now. Right knee, right elbow, and back. Don't drop the ribs. Good. Knee to elbow, and back. Knee to elbow, and back. Keep the ribs. Out, knee to elbow, back, last time, knee to elbow, now take it back, hold it there, ribs and in, inhale, stretch the left fingertips towards the front, and back down, good, take an inhale breath, and then exhale, shoulder blades relax. Inhale, press them out of the way. Arms are strong. Knit the ribs in. Good. Left leg extends back this time. And again, we're not letting the back arch. We're thinking about knitting the ribs in. Think about bringing the top rim of the pelvis closer so we're really getting that motion. Good. Keep that left knee, left elbow. And back. Left knee, left elbow. Back. Left knee to left elbow, back, two more, knee to elbow, don't let the ribs drop, good, think about all that anterior compression in the core, last time, knee to elbow, extend back, hold it, cinch the ribs and cinch the belly, inhale, right arm goes forward, and exhale, let's come back down, and then sink back into a child's pose real quick. 
You take the arms forward, arms back, whatever feels good. Just breathe, break, pull you going a little more. All right, let's come back up. Hands underneath the shoulders. And then start to walk the hands just a little more forward. And come all the way down to the floor. We want to find sphinx pose here so you can bind the hands. And the little trick I like to do is like instead of crossing the fingers like that, I just kind of like to, you know, uncross the pinkies so we get a little more stable base, a little more symmetrical base. Good. Now, as we're into the mat, think about pressing the elbows, pressing the forearms, pressing the wrists in the floor now, like we had been doing. Tuck the ribs in and then lift up. We want to come into this plank. Keep the plank on your knees. Good. Elbows, everything presses into the mat. Think about squeezing the glutes around the belly. Good. Take another inhale here. And then lower back down. And sphinx pose. Good. Press the elbows into the mat. Forearms, wrist press into the mat. Let's start to knit the ribs in. Lifting up, we come into this forearm plank on our knees. Now squeeze the glutes. Try to get the belly rounded a little bit more. Good. And lower back down. Sphinx pose. One more time here. Press everything into the floor. Suck the ribs in and lift up forearm plank from our knees. Now hold it here. We're going to hold this one a little bit longer. Don't let the belly drop. Squeeze the glutes. Think about shortening the distance. Ribs between the pelvis. Keep breathing in and out. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Take one last sphinx pose in this round. Good. Yeah, we lift the chest. And then exhale, lower all the way down to the mat. We're not working on the back side of the core, but yeah, we want to balance it out a little bit. And just a chance to open up the front side. So bind the hands behind the back. We're going to take bound shalabhasana. Good. From here, take an inhale. Lift up. And if you can, you can keep the feet together today. You can keep the feet apart. But squeeze the hands. Now try to lift the hands up off the back. So we can lift the chest, start to look up, feet up. And lower back down. Hands come to the mat. And this time, we're going to press up into, we're not sure, you can bind the hands again if you like, or this time you can keep them separated. But it's going to be a little bit different than last time. We're actually going to go into our full bone plank here. So... Press the elbows, forearms, wrist into the mat. The fingers can slightly grip now, just like we did before. Start to round, knit the ribs in. Squeeze the glutes. Keep it on your knees at first, and then right toe back, left toe back. We're in forearm plank. Good. Think about maybe dropping the butt a little bit. Squeeze the glutes, but press through the shoulders. Ribs are in. Take an inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And then lower back down. Let's take Sphinx pose again. Come back up. Or if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can extend the arms. Good. Inhale. And then exhale. We come back down. Press the elbows, forearms, wrists. Draw the ribs and squeeze the glutes. Step back, forearm plank. Again, you might need to drop the butt a little bit. But squeeze the glutes. Press through the shoulders. Good. Another inhale. And exhale, lower down. And again, extend it if you like. You can take Sphinx. If you want Cobra. And if you like that Shalabhasana we did last time, go ahead and take that. Good. Last time in this round, hands on the mat. Press into the floor. Feel the strength in the arms as we knit the ribs in. 
Go up to the knees, plank first, and then toes back. Really feel the strength here. Squeeze the glutes. Trying to narrow the distance. Belly towards the ribs. Good. Take an inhale. And exhale. Lower back down. This time, just press back. And just take a nice, easy, relaxing child pose. Again, arms forward, arms back, whatever works best. Take an inhale breath. And exhale. All right, from the child's pose, come back up. Let's walk the hands back forward. And let's just make our way into a downward facing dog. So in our down dog, index fingers pointing forward. You can take a slight little bend in the fingers if you like, but press into these big toe mounds, big finger mounds into the mat. Press the mat away as we lift the hips. But like we did before, think about instead of letting the back and the shoulders flare like that, think about knitting those ribs in. Good, as you knit the ribs in, then start to suction the belly back. Good, take an inhale. Then exhale. Now inhale, let's rock forward to plank. Keep that, drop the hips a little bit, squeeze the glutes, ribs in, and downward facing dog. Good. Again, dole with the back arch. Think about keeping nice and strong. Keep that anterior core engaged as we rock forward. Plank pose. Now in plank pose, right knee, right elbow, and back to dog. Three legged dog. Good. Ribs in, knee to right elbow, and back. Knee to elbow, stay strong through the arms, good, and back. Two more times, knee to elbow, back. And then knee to elbow, and back. And downward facing dog, good. Inhale, we rock forward to plank. Lift the left leg up, and then knee to elbow. Three like a dog. Knee to elbow. Keep the front ribs in and dog. Knee to elbow. And how you can get it up? Really feel that into your core work. Good. Knee to elbow. And let's take our last one. Bring the knee to the elbow. Hold it. Lift up. And three like a dog. Downward facing dog, come to the knees, child's pose. Arms back, arms back, whatever your body needs. Good, hands forward. Downward facing dog. And again, kind of rock forward, press them out of way, ribs are in. And then hips go back, heels to the mat, downward dog. But again, we're not flare on the back. We're staying nice and strong. Squeezing the belly towards the thighs, but squeezing the front ribs towards the pelvis. Good, now inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, and back. Need a left elbow, get it as high as you can. Feel the core working back. Now those slow, controlled, fluid transitions back. The slower we can move, the more strength we can build in these transitions, but it also translates a lot to functional movement, to building these motor patterns. Need elbow, go back. And downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left leg up. Lift the ribs in, knee to right elbow. Even back, nice and slow. Knee to elbow. Back and don't let the back flare. Squeeze it, rounding the spine. Three, 
four. And last one, five. And downward facing dog. And take an inhale here. And then come forward, knees down. Take another child's pose. Let's give the arms a break a little bit. All right. Let's come back up. And let's find our downward facing dog. Now, arms, press them out of the way. Feel the ribs knitted in good. Now, inhale, bend the knees. Keep that. And hop or step forward. We're going to come into a malasana squat. Good. So, feet wide. Sinking down, hands at heart. Chest is lifted. And as we're here, think about the same thing. Think about rounding a little bit. Sometimes we kind of stay up like that. Think about this time. I want to round. Just imagine like you're going to get into a crow position. So even if you want to press the arms forward, but if you press the arms forward or if you keep them together, squeeze the knees into the triceps as you round a little bit more. Good. Take an inhale. And then exhale forward. Hold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, fold. Inhale, the arms are up, reaching up. Exhale, Tadasana. Good, inhale up. And exhale, fold still. Maintain the concentration into your core, good. Now inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, hold. Inhale, arms are up, want to reach up. Front ribs stay in, but fingertips reach up. Exhale, to awesome. Inhale up. And exhale, hold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, bring the hands to the mat, step the right foot back, good. Take an inhale, open the arm, do a twist. And exhale, hands to the mat, downward facing dog, good. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, right foot steps through, good. Hand on the mat, the inhale, open up, take a twist. Exhale, hands to the mat, step forward. Inhale, shoulders to hip height. Exhale, hold. Inhale, arms are up, reach up, ribs stay up, but maybe a little back bend. And Tadasana. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, hands down, step the right foot back, good, inhale, easy twist. And exhale, hands to the mat, high plank. Exhale, elbows in, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog, good, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot steps through, good. Right hand on the mat, left hand reaches up, easy twist. Exhale, hands down, step the right foot forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms are going to stretch out, reach up. And exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift the front ribs. And exhale, hands down, left foot steps back, good, right hand up. Exhale, hands down, high plank, low plank. 
and we grin as we inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog, good, inhale, right leg high, exhale, step the right foot through, good, inhale, twist, exhale, hands down, left foot forward, inhale, lift up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, arms up, want to stretch up. And exhale, bottom pose. Inhale up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, shoulders to hip height. And exhale, hands down, left foot back. I'm sorry, let's take that right foot back. Inhale, right foot back, bottom up. Exhale, high plank. This time lower all the way to the mat. Good, bound, shalabhasana. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left foot steps through. Good, inhale, easy twist. Exhale, hands down, right steps forward. Inhale, shoulders to hip height. Exhale, hold. Inhale, the arms are up. We're going to reach up, ribs are in. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And exhale, hands down, left foot back, inhale, we open. Exhale, high plank. All the way to the mat on the exhale, bind the hands, shalabhasana, lift up. And lower down, downward facing dog, good. Now take an inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, bend the knees. Lift the heels or hop or step forward. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, arms are up. And then sit down all the way. We're going to come to the floor where we were seated. The and inhale. Right side, center, left side, center, cross the ankles, high plank, low plank, elbows in, upward facing, and downward facing down. A couple more, just like that. Take an inhale, bend the knees. Lift the heels, hop, step forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, scoop the arms up. And then exhale, we sit all the way down to the floor. Good, feet together, Bakasana. Right side. Center. Left side. Center, inhale, and then ankles cross, high plank, low plank, elbows and squeeze the shoulder blades here, inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. One last time, inhale, bend the knees, lift the heels, hop, step forward, feet between the hands. Inhale, press the mat away. And exhale, fold. Inhale, arms are up, reach up. And then sit down, knees wide, all the way to the mat, seated Bakasana. Left side first. Center. Think about rounding here, good, right? Center, ankles cross, high plank. Low plank, elbows in. 
upward facing and downward facing dog good take a breath here and exhale good one last little bit of strengthening stuff we want to do. I mentioned grabbing socks. So grab your socks, grab your plate, whatever you need. I am going to turn my mat a little sideways just so to make it a little bit easier to see. But we put the socks on. And guess what? More into your core work. So since we're going to go, after this, we're going to go into a crow position. I'm going to go into a side crow position. We're going to just kind of work those two arm variations and doing this core exercise. So, bring the hands to the mat. You would likely you want to bring the hands just you know, just right before they come off the edge of the mat. Same chaturanga positions. Arms are strong. Now here, what I just want to think about as we lift the hips. I want to think about bending the elbows. Maybe the face comes a little closer and back. Lift to plank. Good, uh, hips lift, elbows bend, and back. Hips lift, elbows bend, and back. Two more. And come back down, jump your knees. Find the hands behind the back, take a nice little back bend. One more set of that. Hands to the mat, plank, bend the knees, hips up. One. Two. And five. <clears throat> Knees now, sit back. We're just gonna take another little back bend here. Put the arms over the head, just whatever feels good. All right, last little bit of work here on this side, the socks on. I mentioned we're going into Psycho, Pars of Picasso, so get a little work here. Arms are strong. Now, if you really have had enough on the arms for now, you can do this from the forearm. I'll, I'll demonstrate it here, and we'll do five on each side. Well, just one, two, three, four, five, six. Or if you've had enough here, you can come to the mat. Just three. Four. And I'll get my last one here. Five. Good. Hands in the mat. We got one more time, of course. Get our two sets. Take a break. Wipe some sweat. Catch your breath. Grab a drink. But as soon as, as much as we can, and think about keeping that breath in and out through the nose. We're going to start to work harder. We actually work more efficiently as we keep that steady flow of breath in and out through the nose as opposed to you know, breathing into the mouth. There are times when we need to breathe in and out through the mouth to catch our breath, like especially when we're talking. But in the middle of a practice, I want to try to maintain that steady flow of air in and back out through the nose. All right, last time here. Find that plank position. Right. Left. Ribs stay in. Right. Left. Squeeze the belly right, left, two more, right, left, last one, right, left, and down, good. Now come back to the mat. I'll turn back to where you guys see me. And here, if you want, you want to leave the socks on, you can leave them on. I'm going to take them off, you can take Take an inhale, press the mat away, those ribs are in. And exhale. And inhale, bend the knees. 
Lift the heels. We're going to hop back to that Malasana position. Good. Good. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, sit down into Malasana. I'm going to turn a little bit sideways. It's a little bit easier again here to see me. But we're in the Malasana. We're going to go into, so we're going to kind of get into our crow. So think about here. Bring the hands inside of the knees. Bend the elbows, bring the hands to the mat, shoulder width, just like you would in your chaturanga. And start to lift the hips up. And as the hips are lifting up, all that stuff we worked on, keeping the ribs in, drawing the pelvis towards the bottom of the ribs, keep that. Squeeze the knees into the triceps and just think about this little lean forward as we bend the elbows. You don't have to bring the feet up and down. And then the ribs are in. Forward, just feel the weight to the hands. And down, a couple more times here. And then maybe eventually, as the ribs stay in, think about catching a little air with your feet so you can get a little bit into that crow position. But think about all this strength in the core we're gonna work on. So all this work in the core is working up to here to really keep that tight, compact body as we get into this crow. A couple more times there. And let's go ahead and just get into our curve. So bring the feet together if they were apart. Knees go wide. And bring the triceps, knees into the triceps, arms chaturanga position. Now think about here, we're not lifting up. What we want to do is we want to think about like we just did before, we're rocking forward. Think about the strength in the core as we squeeze everything nice and compact and just rock forward. Toes come up maybe. And we find our curl. Keep squeezing the knees into the triceps. Keep that belly around enough. Feet together. Squeeze the heels to the butt. And ready to come back down. And then take a thick fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And fold. Inhale, arms are up. Reach up. And Tadasana. Good. Inhale, arms are up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. And then exhale, bring the hands to the mat and just find your way back into downward facing dog. Now from downward dog, take an inhale, ribs are in. Um, inhale the right leg up. And on the exhale, step the right foot through and then just come up into a crescent. This time you just bring the hands to heart. Now inhale, we lift the chest, but don't flare the back and get those ribs in. And exhale, take a twist. Use the elbow on the outside of the knee, leverage this twist. Good, take an inhale. And then step the left foot forward. So here we're going to be, our toes are facing the mat. As the toes are facing the mat, turn the toes just a little bit so the toes are angled about to that left front corner of your mat. And then bring the hands down to the floor. We're going to go into our side curve here. So the hands, this time, shot around the position, we're staying in that same plane of the mat. But take an inhale, lift up. And then instead of lifting up, I'm going to start to lean forward, but squeezing the knees into your chest. Good. Take an inhale. Heels to the glutes. Tuck the toes if you can. And exhale. Come back down. Downward facing dog. Left side. Inhale. Left leg high. Exhale. Left foot steps through. Hands to heart, crescent lunge. Take an inhale, drop the ribs. We don't want to back bend. It's nice and strong. All this is engaged. Inhale, and on the exhale, lean forward, take that twist. Now breath, maybe the gaze goes up. without falling over like that. Start to bring the right foot up next to the left. 
and then turn the toes. This time, toes are going to face that left front corner of your mat. And then drop the hands to the floor. Try to run the position so we're always in that same plane of the mat. And lift the hips a little bit. Start to bend the elbows as you squeeze the knees towards your shoulders. Heels to hips. Toes can point back. And to your core is working. And then come back down. And then take a brief, just quick little child's pose. We're almost done here. Last little bit of core. Come back up. Take a little bit of active Ustrana. So this time, put the high knee in position with the knees on the ground, hips above the knees, shoulders above the hips, hands to the heart. From here, get those ribs in. We don't want to do that. And maintain this. We're still trying to squeeze all this together. And then press the shins into the floor. Lean back. And then come up. We want to avoid this. And we want to avoid this. We want to do this nice and straight. And back up. Do two more here. And then come back down. Take a quick breath. We'll do one more round of that. We're going to do two sets of everything here. So we're going to do two sets of this last little bit of work here. All right, last time. Your straw position, the knees, feet, hip width apart, hands to heart. Draw the belly in, front ribs down, and lean back. Up, down, back, two, back, three, back, and then one last time. Come back up. Bring the hand to the mat. This time, just going to come down to a nice, easy seat. I'm going to turn and face you. So we'll cross over and do a little bit of twist, a little forward, forward, and we are done. So from here, inhale the arms up. And then take a forward fold. Just bend forward. And still that same inhale. The same exhale. Then let's come back up. Left hand, right knee, right hand goes behind. Nice, easy twist. Keep the chest lifted. And as we're twisting, think about keeping the hips firmly on the ground so we're not rotating over like that just to deepen the twist, but stay nice and grounded. The chest lifts, the spine is straight. Neck stacked over. Take the rest of the spine as we look back over the right shoulder. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come back forward. Just take a nice, easy breath here. And then same thing. Right hand, left knee. Left hand behind. Grounding through your sits bones. Chest lifts. And again, don't let those ribs flare. And we've been working on to keep those nice. And then that helps stack the spine. So inhale. And then start to lift back. One more inhale here. And then exhale, come back to center. And if you like, feel free to take a Shavasana. I'm going to sit here in a little bit of seated meditation. Not going to stay here too long, but if you like, it feels good. I'd recommend staying a little bit longer. But come find your seat. You can rest the wrists and the knees, chest lifts. We're still grounded through the sits bones. Let's take a few breaths in. And a few breaths out. Feel free to stay. Enjoy your seated and meditation as long as you like, but Thank you for practicing with me and namaste.